Tchaikovsky. Yeah, who cares? It's not too striking, isn't it? Maybe you'll get into it next. <laughs> I saw that. Keep your voice down, will you? If yours is the first face he sees when he wakes up, might never sleep again. It is respectful to slow down when you see a hearse. I don't think Carl's going to be bothered. Why don't you go and ask him? That's just the sort of comment I'd expect coming from oh, you. Oh, well, there you go. Everybody's happy, aren't they? If you had any decency at all, you would keep away today. You've done enough harm already, filling that poor boy's head with filth. I just told him the truth. As if it's not enough that your sister has orphaned two children. Listen, Carl got what was coming to him. Jazz just happened to get in there first. He was a scumbag. So instead of pointing your bony little finger at my family, why don't you trot on back over the road and think again about your precious Mr. Carl? If you'd have kept a tight leash on him, maybe none of this would have happened. Uh, I'd better get these over there before they all leave. Yeah. Yeah, you do that. Sling them in the back, if you like. I'll give you a lift. Oh, all right, yeah. That's if you've finished. Well, yeah, I've, uh, I've finished all right, but uh, I spotted uh, three walls that need looking at. Sure, where have you been? Your, your lad's been looking for you. Oh, I was at Jimmy's. Oh. I, uh, I saw Keen as well. Not at Jimmy's, obviously. Uh, how was that like? What do you mean? Well, I can. Uh, all right, see you. Yeah. I think he's he's missing Chaz. Don't worry about that, Moira. I'd be very surprised. Yeah? Yeah, but, uh, yeah, go on. Uh, did he say out, Ken? Uh, I'm just interested, you know. What's up, Zach? Lisa's going to see her, aren't you? And you don't approve? Well, it's not that, it's... Lisa cares about folk and... Well, everything that's happened to Chaz, like, struck a chord with her. Now, me, I think she's better off locked up, for her own good. Cos... Well, if you come back round here, I wouldn't bet against another funeral. I don't know what I'd do without you. That's not as if I have much of a social life. If I asked Priya to do an extra shift, she'd be under the union. Have you thought about longer term? You know, if, if it doesn't turn out well. If Chaz walked back in here tomorrow, half our customers wouldn't set foot in the place. I don't know what we're going to do. <clears throat> oh. Let's like gossip about a bit. <laughs> Still as good as gold? Yeah, thanks to you. Uh, I introduced them to classical music, and Keane's pretending not to be into it. I'll take him upstairs, put the baby monitor on. You give Sarah a kiss from me. Oh, oh come on, little man. Uh, we weren't gossiping. I couldn't care less. What you said to Edna... Yeah, she needs to learn to keep a gob shop. I know, but... Jazz is your sister, and nobody would hold it against Was you. Was my sister. I don't think she's going to be bothering me again. Usual? Uh, no, Tal, I've a brandy. Mm, OK. Oh, don't look at me like that. Are you all right, pet? If I tell you something, will you promise not to let on? I wouldn't be much of a landlady if I couldn't keep a secret. <sighs> I've seen Chaz. But no one must know. Right. All quiet on the Western Front. I know what you're thinking, and that's why I don't want people finding out. She's got no one. She's got someone. I'm not defending what she did, and my heart breaks for Debbie and little Sarah. And what they've been through. But? She's not in prison for what she did to Debbie. She's there for defending herself. And, well, that deserves some sympathy in my book. How is she? She's scared to death. She's scared to death of being in there. And Cain, biding his time. Lisa. If I am out of line, just say 
I wanted to ask you something. I was thinking of going to see Chaz. Were you listening just then? No, no. Zach told me. Well, he had no right. He was worried about you. And he'd have good reason if he starts blabbing it around the village. No, he wasn't blabbing anything. How was she? Terrified. So, uh, if I went to see her? I reckon she'd be made up. But you must keep it to yourself. You know, I, I think Keynes is worried about her as you are. He just won't admit it. I wouldn't bet my life on it. Thanks. I've given the baby his bottle. He's asleep. I'm going to go to Jimmy's. I'm not looking forward to it, but I think I should show me face. Mm, sorry, don't worry, I'll cope. Thanks. Uh, paint and a vodka and tonic, please. OK. How did it go? Starting off sombre, and it all got a bit punchy, didn't it? Probably getting ratted now. Uh, go sit down. It was a bit fraught, actually. Poor kids. Carl's son had a bit of a meltdown. Oh, bless him. Here, listen, I'll bring them over. Cheers. Thanks. What's going on? Huh? Oh, I'm going to ask you that. Listen, you're the one who dragged me up here away from my lunch, so don't start getting cryptic. You're going to invite me in or what? Well, I don't want Alicia and Debbie over here. And... Go on, then. It's about Cameron. It's not your problem, is it? Well, that's what I'm hoping. Listen, God knows I, I could kill the lying, cheating little chore like myself. But I keep thinking, how many more troubles can this family survive? I don't know what you want me to say. I've been looking after baby Jack, making sure Debbie's all right and running that garage. You're the one who's worrying after Cameron. Kane. I know that you're up to something. You've got to stay away from Cameron. That is what Debbie wants. It's not about you. And if you really care about her, well, you just do as she says. Don't turn this mess into an even bigger one. Sarah? Mm. Proper poorly. Debbie's back at the hospital now. Yeah, she's a tough one, your daughter. But then she would be, wouldn't she? Was that a compliment? No. Oh. An observation. So what about you? What about me? No. Who do you get to lean on? Everybody relying on you. You must be a bit worried. Or at least have mixed feelings about Chaz. <sighs> All right, I must have. Says who, you? I reckon I know you better than you think. I'm not a bad listener. I'm not a good talker. <laughs> 